my channel and into my home. Now I just gave you a quick glimpse of what we're going to be working on today. I'm so excited to dive into that closet and get it organized. Now that closet is pretty much the only area of my home for me to store items in that can't withstand the heat of the garage. So as much as I would love the closet to be Pinterest perfect, it just isn't realistic for the space. I just have too many items that need to go in there. So this video is a relatable real life situation that you most likely have going on in a closet in your home. Today's video is in collaboration with five of my bestie YouTube creators. We group chat with each other several times a week and our goal is to be supportive of one another. And I can tell you that these ladies have been super supportive of my channel and I love each of them dearly. We've decided to put together a playlist of super motivating cleaning and organizing for you. Not only will you be getting motivation, but you're also getting an opportunity to win a $150 gift card. All you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe to each channel on the playlist. And if you're here from one of the other channels, hello, my name is Michelle. I started this channel to encourage women to reclaim the peace in their lives through cleaning, organizing, and setting up routines. I make videos on how I keep a tidy home with simple habits and routines. I'm so glad to have you here if you're new, but please leave your name below and where you're from because I love to get to know my new subscribers. All right, for reference, this closet is in the same room that we did our makeover on in last Sunday's video. Now, if you missed that huge transformation of turning this room from a storage space into a guest bedroom, I'll link it at the end of this video. These are things that were pulled out of the closet during Christmas and are now lining my hallway. So the majority of the stuff will go back into that closet. Last year, I added the shelves up high so it can hold the seasonal pillows and blankets. It's working great, but it does nothing to help the rest of this. I wish that I could move the heavier boxes up there, but there is a weight limit, plus getting them up and down would be difficult. So I'll stick with having up there the pillows and the blankets. Okay, now I'm gonna move the bed to the far wall, so that way I have a place to put everything that I pull out of the closet. go ahead and organize the pillows. Now it seems that I may have a pillow issue here, but in my defense I do rotate through the pillows and I will be parting with some of these. However, as I put them back up into the closet, I realize that I probably still have more than what I need. So I may be getting back up there and taking some of those down.
like I said, this closet is our only storage closet for items that can't withstand the heat of the garage. So I keep all of my decor that I rotate through during the year. It also holds baby items that I need for new babies that just keep being born. And I have sentimental items in here like Christmas stuff and my husband's mother also has things in here. She lives with us in an attached casita that's attached to our home. So she also stores things in here. Okay, so this is pretty much what I have left in here now. I'm still going to be moving stuff out, but I just want to show you where I'm at now. Now these things down here, I'm going to pretty much just leave those in the closet because there's not anything to declutter in them. They're um, photo albums and pictures and loose pictures and um, things that the kids made and stuff like that. Those pillows pretty much have to stay there too, I think. Not positive if I'm going to leave them there. But my husband went out and bought me a piece of wood to go on the top of this. I don't know why the builders didn't put the wood on there. You would think that it would have a wood on there, but they didn't put it on there and I didn't catch it when we were closing. So anyways, he bought me a piece of wood. I'm going to paint it and stick it on there. So that way I have an extra shelf right here. To be able to um, have things that are more accessible because everything is very high for me. I'm a little over five feet tall, so I have to have a ladder to reach any of these things. So it would be nice to have things a little lower down here, don't you think? Anyways, okay, I'm going to keep working in here. I appreciate him cutting that for me. It is bone chilling cold out there and I wasn't looking forward to setting up everything to cut that wood. I'm FaceTiming with my daughters to see if any of them need this extra shelving for their homes. All this fuzz on the rod is from pompous grass that I had stored in here. That stuff is a huge mess. I'll get it vacuumed down here in just a bit. Trash. Why is there trash sitting in the corner here? I don't know. I'm going to take these last things down and then I'm going to go ahead and vacuum up on these top shelves. And then we'll pull things back in. A lot of up and down from the ladder. My legs are going to be very sore tomorrow.
Okay, so this is gonna take about three coats. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this started now. That way it has time for the paint to dry before I store decor on it. Okay, so starting up on this high shelf, I'll be adding in the Christmas villages and all the pillows that I'll be keeping. Alright, so it's time for the second coat. Now I don't show it, but I do paint all sides of the shelf. Okay, so so far this is what we've got going on in here. While that paint is drying, I went ahead and put up all the pillows as you saw so the whole top shelf is now full I think I'm going to go ahead and add some of the higher items that need to go up on the shelf I'm going to add them right here so that way they'll be accessible for me um, to bend down and get and put up on the shelf once everything is dry in here This box is full of craft items. I'm really tired of holding on to these things, so I'll pull out the obvious expensive things and the rest of it I'm going to be donating. Okay, so typically at this point when I'm decluttering and organizing, I'm ready to throw everything out, but obviously I can't do that. So, my vacuum died. I need to get the bottom of the floor vacuumed so that I can move stuff in there. So, while that's charging, I'm going to take about a 10-20 minute break just to regroup, and then I can come in here with fresh eyes. Alright, I'll be right back.
All right, so I'm back. Now, do you take some time to step away when you've become overwhelmed? It really is a good idea to do that, just as long as you don't step away for days. All right, so this shelf has been drying several hours now. So it's plenty dry and ready for me to put stuff on it. These are all of my table runners and tablecloths. I'm gonna separate out the Christmas ones to go in a Christmas decor box, and then the stacks will go up high on the higher shelf. start with one of these containers from Ikea and I think I'll put in all my florals into it. I like to use these things at different times during the season so I don't really want to get rid of them and repurchase them again for next season. Alright, so here's the current state of the closet. I will be moving those bins so that I can vacuum the carpet and I need to vacuum up the baseboards. Then I can start moving stuff in. And I pretty much have everything up top, all of my, my tall items, like all this is Christmas stuff. So I rarely need to get to that for obvious reasons. And then of course up at the top are my pillows. Now I do have some things that I need to put on the second shelf right here. So I'm going to need to get the ladder out one more time for that. But other than that, I can put up the ladder and, and just start working down here on these, these bottom shelves and here on the floor. So I'm almost done.
I'm folding up all the Christmas blankets and storing them in this bin. I pull these out for extra seating in the living room. The grandkids really love to sit on these things. All right, so let's take a quick look of the before so that way we can really enjoy the after. Ta-da, here it is. I got pretty much everything back in here that I wanted. I really like that I have all of my larger Christmas items on this back wall. And down in these IKEA containers, I group together items that I reach for more often. And towards the back of the shelf, are all of my non-seasonal decor items that I rotate through. The seat cushions are easy to get to, along with my wreaths and florals. And then all of the heavy boxes are down on the ground and out of the way. I hope that this video has given you motivation to get a closet organized in your home. If it has, would you please give me a big thumbs up? It really helps my channel. And don't forget to click on that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you get reminded every time I post a new video. Head on over to the playlist and watch the other videos so that way you can be entered into the Amazon gift card giveaway. All the rules will be down in my description box. I'll see you again on Sunday where we're going to be deep cleaning my master bedroom and bath. I'll see you again then. Stay blessed, my friends.